so sometimes, right, to solve the problems of the present and prepare the way of the future, we've got to look at the past. So with this in mind, I plundered the archives to plagiarize the insight and perspective of perhaps England's greatest statesman, Jonathan Swift. Uh. Yeah, all right. I've, <laughs> I've taken a simple document, a modest proposal hey. for modern audiences. I've, I've edited it. It's been rewritten for the modern poor and our aristocracy. And the language has been shifted to a less formal register, appropriate for third grade readers. So without further ado, I'm going to present my simple plan by Jason Eaton with apologies to Jonathan yeah. Swift. All right. That was like, uh, sorry, it was like a quarter of it's really sad to walk around and see so many poor families who can't afford to take care of their children. These moms and dads can't find good jobs, so they have to beg for help. The kids are so hungry and don't have the things they need to grow up healthy. This problem is getting worse, and it's hard for the rich people who own houses to watch it happen. Right now, a lot of poor people are having more and more kids, and there isn't enough food or money to help them all. The rich people, especially the good Christian ones who own houses and rent them to poor families, have to pay a lot in taxes to help these poor families. And it's not fair to them. So after thinking about this for a long time, I came up with a plan that can help everybody. My idea will make life easier for the poor families and will also help the rich people save money and even make more money. Here's my plan. Instead of letting poor families struggle to take care of their babies, they can just sell their babies to the rich. Landlords, when the babies turn on their own. The landlords can then use the babies as food. This way, the poor families will get money and the rich people will have delicious meals without spending so much on groceries. A one-year-old baby is just the right size to make a good meal. The baby could be roasted, stewed, or grilled and one baby could feed a rich family for a whole week. This will also create new jobs because people will be needed to prepare and cook these meals for restaurants. This plan has so many good things about it. First, poor families will get money to help them live better. Second, rich landlords won't have to feel bad about how poor their tenants are because they'll be helping them by buying the babies. Third, the country will spend less money on taking care of poor people because there won't be as many mouths to feed. And finally, we'll have a new kind of food that people will want to buy, and that will have, help our economy. Some people might think this plan is mean or cruel, but I want them to think about how things are right now. Poor families are already suffering, and many of their children are starving. My plan gives these children a purpose and helps everybody. The rich people will even feel good because they're helping the poor in a way that works for both sides. And please, don't suggest other ideas like giving poor people more money or building cheaper homes or finding them jobs. Those ideas are slow and expensive. My idea is fast and easy. And lastly, I don't have any children to sell. I won't make any money from this planet. I'm just trying to help the country find a way to solve this problem.